Welcome to the Double E Show. Bad strategy, horribly simulated. What's going on, everybody? Jippa73, back with the Double E Show. It's art of murder. Hunt for the puppeteer. In last week's episode, we discovered that the gentleman hiding in our car that held a gun to our head was working for Jack Dupree as a private investigator. Together, we uh, put together a piece of a map we're going to head over to Mark Tain's apartment and see what he has to do with the murder of Jack Dupree. And if he has anything to do with the murders of the, uh, the dancers. And we're heading there now. Alright, so here we are outside. Looks like he's fidgeting with the lock. Alright, he gets in. Very good. I'm astonished at what we found here. So am I. What do you make of it? It's a murderer's hideout. It's all laid out for us. Yeah, but now we have to analyze all this very carefully. The murderer is a perfectionist, haunted by some sort of obsession. That makes him perform the bloody ritual again and again. The dolls, they're the key. They're old, if I'm not mistaken. They're stylized that way. This must be very important to the killer. So what message is he trying to convey through them? The dolls are different every time. They're witnesses. Did you see what's in those photos? First and foremost, the victims. That part I get. He was meticulously planning the murders. Second, he photographed us as well. He was watching the murder scenes closely. Thus satisfying the need for control, being the master of the situation. Third? I have a feeling that there are photos here of people he was working on. Please photograph this. These photos point to potential victims. How should we warn them? I hate to say it, but I gave him one victim on a plate. How so? That antiquarian from Azara in the Pyrenees. He asked me to track him down. When did you give him the info? Yesterday. So we need to go there right away. Will you come with me? If the police catch Tay and I won't, there's no point. We need to be prepared for the worst case scenario. I think he could come in here at any minute. And we're not here legally. We need to put the police on the right track to catch him. So, we leave and carefully consider our next move. I'll finish in a little bit. Just let me look around for a few more minutes. All right, but don't take too long. All right, so let's uh, take a quick peek. We're going to look at this board here close up. It seems even more mysterious when you look closer. All right. So I want to grab a photo of that. And uh, let's see what else. So if I look here... That must have been a lot of work. Photos, notes, newspaper scraps... Okay. Anything else? Oh, okay. That must have been a lot of work. All right. Photos, notes, newspaper scraps. Okay. So, we've taken a picture of, of the work here. Uh, let's uh, snap a picture of this as well. Because it said to. Right? Everything done there? Everything is done there. Okay, that's the locker. Let's return out. Um, okay, wants me to take a picture of the table, so let's come take a look at it. Since I came from France, I thought someone was watching me. Right, it turns out uh, he may have been. Okay, so that gets rid of that icon, right? Yep. All right, so I'll just all right. So let's let's look at some of these things. Since I came from France, all I thought. Right. So. Um, I hope he didn't drink his coffee wearing gloves. So here's the clear adhesive tape. Trial and error, they say. Okay, that's not it. All right, so um, let's go back. Ah, there we go. Fingerprint foil. Okay, now I've got fingerprint uh, foil with fingerprints. 
Well, all right. So, well, uh, so I have the fingerprints. Got it. Okay. Foil with fingerprints. Yay. Okay. So, um, all right. Since I came from France, yeah. I thought someone. All right. So they're, they all say the same thing except for that cup. Okay. There's a unbolted monkey wrench on the floor. Let's go, uh. Heavy metal key. Heavy metal key. Interesting. Okay. Um, so, there's a mirror. Let's go take a look at that. A broken mirror, just like in the ballet rehearsing room. Right on. Okay. So, come back over to the board. Alright. Mm. Okay, let's go to this locker. Right. So... Oh. Okay. Driver's license in a wardrobe. Who on earth only uses the subway? Okay. So grab that. Mark Tain's driver's license. Right on. Okay. Anything else in here? No. Okay. No can do. Okay, no other drawers. All right, so let's... Uh, Nicole, think. Let's take a the look. The plaster is different here. Was the owner trying to hide something? It's possible. It is possible. Okay, uh... So, um, so, oh, okay, I closed the drawer. All right. All right, so let's do... This key needs bending. The key needs bending. Okay. Um, if worse comes to worse, this can be used as a hammer. Got it. Okay. Got it. Now let's try <laughs> Okay. This won't work. Hmm. Hmm. Let's see if I can jimmy this lock with a ID, like, you know, slide it through the thing. And look at that. Come on, son. Okay. What's in here? We have a freezer, blood, and bucket. So, let us examine that. Blood in the dressing room. That's suspicious. Y you would think, right? And then we've got a bucket. Nicole, think. All right, what is this? Blank. I have no idea what to do with it. Okay. Let us go to the freezer then. Freezer and oh, this is cinematic. This isn't gonna be good. Hey, yikes! I believe we just found it's Mark. Mark Tain. Who is the murderer then? Right. Okay. This human had no worth for the puppeteer. All right. So let's, uh, let's see. Okay. So let's hop out of here. Can't get out of here. <laughs> Holy crap. Oh, there goes the detective. Okay. The killer has fled. Who is he? All right. Um... Oh, I know. Uh, okay, take the water bucket. Can I do that? This won't work. Um, how about I take this? Is that the blanket? Right? Put it in the water bucket. All right. 
Um, okay, and then put this on. A wet blanket will be useful when going through flames. Right. So let's get out of here. Go this way. I can't cross these flames. Right. I could use some head protection. Right. That's what this is for. It's high time to evacuate. Okay. Uh, let's get out of here. And let's go to the car. And lastly, I think we need to go back to... Uh, uh, we need to go back to Spain. All right. <laughs> okay. Look, we're gonna we're gonna uh, leave it there. Um, okay. So Mark Tame was not the murderer. He is a victim. The murderer was using his place of residence to set up uh, for the murders that he was going to do. Spain must be the location that the detective, the private detective, had given to Tame. Um, the information and the killer used that and is going after them for the victim. The killer shows up at the apartment, sets it on fire, murders the private detective, it traps us in, we have escaped, and when we leave here, we are using the rental car to go to Spain, and we are doing that next week. So, if you like what you're watching, hit that like and subscribe button down below. Tell your family, tell your friends. If you have any suggestions as to what you think I should do here in uh, Art of Murder, Hunt for the Puppeteer. Put them in the comments below, because I will read them. And with that, I will catch you next Monday for another episode of This Game. Peace. Thanks for watching. If you want to see more, check out the playlist above. Or watch what YouTube tells you to on the right. Oh yeah, and subscribe.